Let me tell you about Esther. <laughs> My lips seem to amuse Esther. She forces this shrill, tinny sound through hers, which then bursts into a big, rough snort. Sounds like a horse. She says my lips are chalky and dry, big and rubber. She laps up laughs from the others like a drunkard needing a drink. Maybe my lips are big, she says. Doesn't make it any easier for me to open them up or answer her back though. She always chews gum. And I always know when she's going to say something nasty to me. Her lips, her lips mash up and down, hard. Parting and closing like a bored camel. And she's looking at me, laughing to herself all the while. By now, the rest of the class are flicking fingers and swaying and beating tabletops in the rhythm of her horse sounds as she's firing out the words between each crack and slap with the old soured gum in her gob. Dry, rubber, lips. I was in Jamaica last summer. Granny swears by Vaseline. She doesn't need any fancy, fancy creams or lotions. Just Vaseline. She looks so young. And she always has this ready-made smile on her lips. And if my lips were ever dried or slightly cracked, she wouldn't tell me. She'd just say, Come, darling. Scoop up a bit of white jelly. Smooth it over my lips with a protective touch. The heavy sun will just melt the Vaseline and keep them plump and moist all day. And then as I'd run off, Granny will tell me to take time and talk good with your lips. That's why, that's why perhaps I can't say anything to Esther. Now.